Hi everyone, in this video we are going to review how to manage multi-event bookings. We will cover what a booking is, how to add multiple events to a booking, and how to efficiently edit all of those events. Within every event created in Triple Seat, there is an automatically generated section referred to as a booking that can be seen here. A booking is a container for multiple events that are tied together. Most of the time, there is no need to go into the booking as I would manage a single event from this page. However, if I would like to link multiple events together because they are connected, for instance, if I have a few dinners and meetings that I wanna to add to this luncheon, I can also do this in Triple Seat. From the event, I will click on the hyperlinked booking name. I can tell that I'm on the bookings page because the booking tab on the navigation panel is now highlighted. There is also a new tab here called events, which will show all of the events within this booking container. Right now, it is just the one event. To dive a bit deeper into this booking container, I will click edit and adjust. The container name carries over from my initial event name, but I can change it here to best fit the overall container of events. The date range will be the dates of my multiple events. They could all fall on the same day, or I can expand the date range as far out as needed. I can adjust any of the dropdowns on the right here if I need to. Scrolling down, all of the individual events that make up this booking will be listed here. From here, I can add another event to keep these two tied together. I'm going to go ahead and add a dinner and a meeting on the next day and click save when I am done. Now I can see that all of these events are within the same booking and I am able to have a discussion on the booking as a whole or just keep the discussion within the individual events. If I need to make any quick adjustments to these events or add multiple events, I can do so within the events grid. When I click on the events tab, all of my events will display and I am able to make any adjustments right here without having to go into a specific events page. Clicking on the add event button will add a new row for me to enter the required event information. And I can also copy an existing event and choose where within the booking date range I need it added. I can edit the events by clicking on the pencil icon, selecting an event and clicking edit, or just double clicking on the event. I'm also able to edit multiple events at once here and I can make adjustments to multiple events by clicking the adjust button after selecting those specific events. It's important to note that any changes to the events grid, whether it is adding or deleting an event or making any edits or adjustments, must be saved at the top before leaving this page. The columns within the events grid are also customizable. And when I select this button right here, I can choose which columns I would like to display or hide when viewing my events. I can drag and drop the options to organize them or use the arrows here. The orange dots next to specific columns indicate that this column is required to create a new event, not that they need to be displayed. A best practice is to include the documents option as a column to easily access each event's documents. Once I have finished organizing my columns, I will want to click apply to make sure these changes stick for the future. It's important to note that these changes will only affect my view of the events grid. Other users on my team can make their own individual customizations to how they want to organize their events grid view. I can also drag and drop the columns within the grid to organize them, as well as adjust column widths and sort by ascending or descending order. If I want to view my events and group them by specific information, I can grab any column header and drag it here to group my events. I'm going to group my events by their start date so I can see which specific events are occurring on certain days. I can also drag additional column headers to multi-group and organize my grid view. I will also group by an event type so I know exactly how many meetings I have for this booking occurring on each day. Grouping columns will reset each time I access the events grid. Now that I have my events organized by specific categories, it makes it easier if I need to adjust all of my meetings on a certain date. For example, the meetings on the second day all need to be pushed back by half an hour. 
I will scroll down to the second day in the booking, select all of the events that are grouped by the meeting event type, and click the adjust button. Now I am able to adjust the time of all the selected events to happen a half hour later. I want to make sure I click apply adjustments and then save changes to make sure these adjustments are saved for the events. If I need to make updates to all of the events within a booking at once, say this booking had seven events and I am moving the event statuses from definite to closed, instead of individually clicking and adjusting each event status, I can either select all the events and click on the adjust button, or I can edit the booking again and scroll down to the mass event editor. Here I can update all of the statuses to closed at once. I could add additional guests to each event or adjust the time frame and click update when I am done. Now all of these events have had their statuses updated at once. While these changes can be made to an entire booking, the charges, event notes, and payments for these events would still need to be managed on the individual level. To get to the individual events, I want to click on this events tab and click on the button next to the pencil icon to open the event details on a new page. I can tell that I'm on a specific events page now because I can see the event status and there's that linked booking that I can go back into. From this page, I can go to the Docs tab to detail out the events as I am accustomed to, and now I can see at the top right that there are related events showing that I can easily switch over to, or I can click back into the booking at any time. I can also switch from the grid view to any of the timeline views that provide a visual breakdown of my booking. On these views, I can filter to show specific events and also make quick, basic adjustments to my events. I can also see when other events at my venue are happening within the same time frame as this booking. The timeline view is a particularly helpful view as this shows us which rooms each event is taking place in. These events that are not within my booking will have a lighter color of their event status compared to the events that are in the booking, and they are unable to be edited when I am working out of my booking's events. When I tie events together within a booking, I can now report on these events as a whole. If the majority of your events will be done via this multi-event booking, please reach out to our support team so that they can help you adjust your account. In the next video, we will review how you can use the booking feature to easily add recurring events to your calendar. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to our support team, support at triplecd.com, or by clicking on the help question button on the top right corner of any screen in Triple Seed.